We touched on this in Iguanodon, but the neck of the animal was almost certainly thicker than I portrayed it. I have been unable to figure out how far back beefing up the necks of these animals go. What Bertozzo and co-authors call a bull neck really originated in the 80s, when Jerkas and then Paul reconstructed that nuchal ligament extending all the way to the withers, to those elongated neural spines over the shoulder, with massive neck musculature running from that to the neck vertebrae. So, like in a horse or a cow, the front of the dorsal spine is encased in the tissues of the neck. In 2020, Bertozzo and co-authors took another look at the neural spines of the 7th and 8th dorsal vertebrae, which you can see on this toy, are pathologically deformed into this, like, saddle shape. They think that what happened was that a heavy object, like a tree, fell across the animal's back, fracturing those spines, and they eventually healed in this V-shape, with a dished leading edge to the 8th neural spine. And this healing took a month, probably more, and as we saw with Dilophosaurus, when a dinosaur's wound is healing with ligaments pulling on it, weird things can happen. In this case, they got separated into that big V shape. In other words, the injury, whatever it was, happened exactly where the neck ligament supporting the head ended and the ossified tendon lattice supporting the rest of the animal began. Three spines behind number eight slant backwards more than we would expect and have swelling in the lower half. Meanwhile, the spine in front of dorsal seven fused with it, growing this flat disc-shaped cap which the authors think is a traumatic ossification of the base of the nuchal ligament. If all this is true, we can make two predictions. The nuchal ligament system leaves off wherever the tendon lattice over the hip and the tail begins. And that varies between different hadrosaurs and Parasaurolophus, it's over the shoulder, over the withers. And two, we can predict that the neck was deep, depending on how straight the connection was between the sixth or seventh dorsal and the back of the head or the very start of the neck. Depending on how long those fibers forking off of that are, the neck can look more conventional or it could just be a big triangle.